First, I will hide all these boxes and move player to left a little bit. Open folder Visual Adventure and search for image endpoint. Let's use this one for an endpoint. Select all of these images to rate a 2D animated sprite. Name it endpoint. If player touch this endpoint object, this level is completed. Change this name to endpoint animator. And this animation to endpoint play. If you press play, you see it look unstoppable. We need to create an idle animation for it to fix this issue. Let's create its idle. Select image, right click, create animation. Name it endpoint idle. Double click on endpoint animator to open its animator. Current default animation is endpoint play. Let's add animation idle for the default animation. Delete the old one. Add another endpoint play. Make sure this animation is non loop animation. Next, create a new visual scripting script on this object. If player touch this endpoint object, play its animation and create a finished screen. Name it endpoint. And create is a collider too. Adjust the size of the collider. Make sure its trigger checked for player can go through this object. Next, open endpoint trip to a some event. Because its trigger is checked and used for the collision, so we use on trigger enter 2D. This is object holding this rip endpoint object. Compare if it's in touch with object tag player. Make sure your player object has tag player. If endpoint touch player, play its animation. To play an animation, use animator play. This will be animator from this current endpoint object. Add endpoint play to play this animation. Press play. The collision and animation works well. After player touch the endpoint object, show end screen. Create a UI image, name it end screen. This event system is an object auto created from Unity. Next, change this to black color for black screen. Adjust its size to cover on the screen. This image is just a HD size, but my screen size 4K HD. That's why it's not covered on the screen. We need to set canvas scale value. With on canvas UI, you should set this canvas size. If you don't do this, on buttons on this canvas UI, we have wrong position on different screen size. Now you have an end screen. Next, create some text on this screen. Name it message. Edit the text bigger. Align and center it. Change it to white color. And test level is completed. 
put this message inside end screen object. Because end screen object is inactive now, we must add it into an object variable. Create a variable end screen object with type game object. Then drop end screen object into Open the script. After player touch endpoint object, we will active and show end screen. We have the end screen object already here. To active an object, use game object set active. This is object doing this node end screen object. Check it to to active this object. Press play to see the result. End screen is sold, but I want to show it with a delay 2 seconds. Use node timer to add a delay. Duration is the delay time added 2 seconds. After 2 seconds, return completed will be triggered. It worked very well. In next video, how to use prefab to create new level map quickly. Create some UI buttons to restart the level or go to next level.